Just in this morning, 20 American troops have been wounded in a rebel attack in the city of Ramadi. But the focus this morning is in Fallujah. The speculation is over. Newt Gingrich says he will not run for president. For the past few months, many speculated the former House Speaker would throw his hat in the ring. As you can see in this sample, water from the lake is murky at best, especially when you compare it with crystal clear water that I've been drinking this hot afternoon. Mayor Daly has criticized the federal government many times, saying the city doesn't get a fair piece of the pie when it comes to fighting terrorism. Some participants at the Coleman Chicago Race for the Cure really went the extra mile to stomp out breast cancer. FBI agents became suspicious about the caller when he started to give details about the bank robbery that only the robber would know. That's when they decided to trace the call. In fact, the only category that went up this year is auto theft, but the increase is minimal. In 2004, auto theft went up by only half of 1%. Parents of multiple say they learn very quickly to distinguish between their children. At first, it has to do with small physical differences, but then over the years, it has to do more with personality. It's only one of 40 temples across America collecting donations and holding prayer services for the victims in India and other countries hit by the tsunami. Their main concern right now is that many people in the affected areas are unable to communicate with the outside world. Go, Rafael. Well, they left, me, they left me behind already, but, you know, the people uh, from Toys for Tots are so nice. They made me this morning an honorary staff member, so uh, they gave me this to prove it. Yo ni siquiera he podido despegar mis manos de la cuerda de seguridad, pero Francisco tiene que limpiar todo un edificio de 40 pisos. Y aunque han acudido a diversas autoridades para pedir ayuda, hasta ahora parece que nadie los ha escuchado. La disputa entre el gobierno del país y los pobladores por el plan para construir un aeropuerto en este lugar. CBS 2's Rafael Romo reports on some Latinos upset that he voted for a fence to go up at the border with Mexico. All right. So, Senator, are you confident you can still get the Latino vote if you run for the presidency? Okay. I am confident uh, that uh, if you look at my track record, uh, there hasn't been a stronger Straight friend uh, to the Latino Straight community than me. Thank you. Senator Barack Obama was calling himself a friend of the Latino community this afternoon, but Hispanic leaders say he has betrayed the trust of the people who always gave him their votes. He's lost his vision. He's lost his feet on the ground. Obama is being criticized after siding with Republicans in the Senate to approve a 700-mile wall across the Mexican border. The vote happened almost two months ago. But CBS2 News has learned exclusively that Obama has met privately with Hispanic leaders in an effort to convince them that his vote is part of a larger strategy. It's a done deal. He, he did it. You know, what am I going to say? Well, you know, I know you made a mistake or... And, when, you know, we were told it was part of a bigger strategy. What strategy? Other Latino leaders say when it comes to the Hispanic community, you have to look at Obama's entire record and not just one vote. Uh, I think that he has to understand that there are expectations out there in the community. And he has a good record of supporting immigrant issues. And I think that will continue. And so I'm confident that uh, he will be able to mend those fences, uh, no pun intended. This afternoon, the senator wouldn't get into the details of his vote on the board. Wall. In fact, when asked what he would do to regain the Hispanic vote, he stopped short of saying he's always had it. Are you suggesting that I've lost it? What? In voting for the wall, Obama joined eight other Democratic senators who sided with Republicans to approve the bill, including Hillary Clinton. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin did not vote for the bill, saying it was the wrong approach to deal with the immigration problem. Antonio okay. Diane. Rafael Romo has reaction from Chicago City Hall. Are you disappointed that since Marco Morales is never coming back to Chicago, we'll really never know the extent of corruption that he was dealing with with, with city officials here? Well, I think there's an investigation on that. I really don't know what extent he had. Mayor Richard Daly didn't have much to say when I asked him about the fact that fugitive Marco Morales was freed from a Mexican prison. But other elected officials like Alderman Ricardo Muñoz say they're very disappointed. It's a huge loss for the taxpayers and residents of the city of Chicago because we're never going to know who this man was bribing. And we have to put an end to this culture of corruption at City Hall. Marco Morales, seen here in a CBS2 News exclusive interview inside a Mexican prison in June, was convicted in the late 90s of a corruption scheme that involved high-ranking officials at City Hall, and he fled before serving a five-year sentence. Everybody knows that I gave money to somebody, but that's, that's, that's about it. And who's that somebody you gave money to? Well, that's Tony. Tony Pizzillo. Pachilla was a powerful official at City Hall in the 90s, overseeing trucking, concrete, and road resurfacing work. 
Without Morales' testimony, he and possibly other officials the fugitive allegedly bribed will never face any charges. It's pretty clear that, that the hired truck uh, program was rife with corruption. It is a good thing that we abolished it and we really need to clean house here at, at City Hall. The Better Government Association says Mayor Daley needs to continue stressing the importance of integrity and ethics in municipal government. I mean, he has moved mountains to have O'Hare expansion. I would argue cleaning up the city is at least as important as O'Hare expansion, and he better bring that type of effort because it's a systemic problem. Former First Deputy Commissioner Anthony Pochillo and his lawyer have repeatedly denied requests for interviews regarding this case. The U.S. Attorney's Office did not return phone calls regarding the liberation of Morales from a Mexican prison.